These guidelines are aimed at lowering the number of painkiller prescriptions and in turn keeping the state's heroin crisis in check. It's a terrible, terrible problem. Governor Wolf unveiled the guidelines flanked by the state's top health leaders. He says various state medical boards approved the guidelines, which at this point are just voluntary for doctors. The first recommendations try to cut down on the number of painkillers used and prescribed during emergency room visits and to encourage doctors to look for signs of painkiller abuse or addiction. The Pennsylvania Medical Society is touting data that shows the number of painkiller prescriptions filled in the state has already dropped 9 percent from 2013 to 2015. We have a bipartisan approach to this. Republicans and Democrats are committed to doing something about this. And what we've done so far is just a start. And two more sets of guidelines for geriatric pain and OBGYN are expected to be announced next month. Live in Harrisburg, I'm Matt Barcaro, News 8.